good morning dear students yesterday we were doing happy prince so let's continue with the same chapter we were reading happy prince and up to this page we have come to know that through window he got a chance to see one of the play right he was busy in writing his play but due to uh, weakness due to uh, severe cold he got fainted and he was not able to finish his play so when happy prince saw this condition he wanted to help that person so that's why he requested his fellow not requested he commanded him just to go and give this one of his sapphires from his eyes so first of all fellow he was not ready to go but after that he had to uh, obey happy prince and he went there to help that young man so when he helped the young man okay uh, so young man became so happy because he thought that who has given him this precious stone that this has been given by one of his fan okay so he thought that one of his admirer he has given him this stone and now he would be able to finish his uh, play so this decision this was this was the mentality of that person okay that it was given by one of his admirer and he started uh, he became so happy and uh, afterwards what happened now we have to read from there the next day the swallow flew down to the harbor read from there page number 32 the next day the swallow flew down to the harbor so who is going to read this okay vanshika you come here and read He the next day the swallow flew down to the harbor he sat on the mast of large vessel and watched the sailors working i am going to egypt cried the swallow but nobody minded and when the moon rose he flew back to the happy prince i have come to bid you goodbye he cried swallow swallow little swallow said the prince will you not stay with me one night longer it is winter answered the swallow and the snow will soon be here in egypt the sun is warm on the green palm trees and the crocodiles lie in the mud and look lazily about them in the square below said the happy prince there stands a little match girl she has let her matches fall in gutter and they are all spoiled her father will beat her if she does not bring her home some money and she is crying she has no shoes or stockings and her little head is bare pluck out my other eye and give it to her and her father will not beat her i will stay with you one night longer said the swallow but i cannot pluck out your eye you would be quite blind then swallow swallow little swallow said the prince do as i command you so he plucked out the prince other eye and darted down with it he swooped the past the match girl and slipped the jewel into the palm of her hand what a lovely bit of glass cried the little girl and she ran home laughing then the swallow came back to the prince you are blind now he said so i will stay with you always no little swallow said the poor prince you must go away to egypt no i will stay with you always said the swallow and he slept at the prince's feet so from this passage what we have come to know so the next day swallow flew down to the harbor harbor is a place where ships come and go okay so he was uh, 
sitting on a mast of a large vessel and he was looking all he was looking at all the sailors sailors mean who move the ships so he was looking at all those sailors they all were working and what was going in the mind of fellow that he was just moving to egypt so he was just trying it okay but nobody minded because when the moon rose he flew back to the happy place now see he was about to start his journey he was on near the ships okay he was near the sea but he just moved back to the happy prince and why did he move back because he wanted to bid him good bye he thought that he should bid him good bye he should say him uh, bye bye so that's why he went there so prince requested that swallow swallow little uh, swallow can't you stay with me for one more night now swallow was so surprised and what is the reason behind that why again he is insisting him to stay for one more night what can be the reason for that so swallow answered that it is a season of winter okay and snow will be there so that's why i just want to go there because in egypt the sun is warm on the green palm trees and crocodiles lie in the mud and they so, look so lazily about them it means he was telling about the advantages of staying in egypt that here in that area it is so wintry it is so cool it is very difficult to survive so i just want to move to egypt because in egypt the weather is warm okay even the crocodiles they enjoy such kind of weather so that's why i want to move there so in the square below said the happy prince there stands the little match girl in the square below square below means when he was looking from upside to downside so in the square below it means the city which was visible to happy prince so in that city he saw that he got a chance to see a one girl that that girl is match girl why this name is given to match girl because that girl was busy in selling matches match sticks okay so because all of her match sticks that fell in gutter okay and now they are completely spoiled because it got wet and when match stick got wet they became they become spoiled okay so happy prince told that when her father would come to know this thing that match girl has spoiled all the matchsticks so definitely her father would beat her so harshly okay and she would not be able to earn money she would not bring money by selling all the matchsticks so that's why she is crying a lot okay and that girl in this winter season she is walking without shoes without stockings stocking you can say like uh, leggings. leggings like socks okay and her head is also bare okay so you just do one thing you pluck one of the stone from other eye which one is left because first one was given to play right and second he wanted that second stone from his eyes that should be given to that match stick and in this way her father would not beat her after their swallow agreed okay he said okay i'm agreed that i would stay with you for for one more night but i cannot pluck out your eyes why so because if i will pluck your other eye then you will become right. blind you will not be able to see so swallow he said no you just do whatever i command you whatever the order i am giving you you just do according to that clear so he had to obey happy prince so he plucked out prince other eye and he darted down with it he darted down means he flew down to that and he swooped past the match girl and slipped the jewel into the palm of her hand so he went near to that match girl and he kept that stone into on the palm of her hand so for that little girl she couldn't understand that it was a very precious stone having a very you can say uh, very uh, high value 
it is very much expensive very much precious and uh, costly so for uh, her it was a you can say piece of glass that was just a shining so she said what a lovely bit of glass i just increase the size so little girl little magical she said that it is a very lovely lovely bit of glass and she ran home and she was just laughing okay then swallow came back to prince and he said now see you are not able to see you have become blind now and what decision i have taken i have taken a decision that i am going to stay with you for ever so prince said no 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 little swallow you just go to egypt because your friends are waiting for you you can't stay with me for uh, forever okay but he slept at the prince feet he found that place appropriate and he slept there okay so for the next day he was sitting on prince shoulder okay and then he was telling him different different kind of stories whatever he has seen in the city because now happy prince was not able to see he was not able to see the misery he was not able to see the poor conditions of people okay so swallow was roaming here and there he looked at them and he saw them and he told all those tales all those stories to happy prince and he had made up his mind now he would definitely with uh, live with him because now happy prince was not able to see and he had become blind after that happy prince said that dear little swallow you have told me very marvelous things okay you have told me but more marvelous than anything is the suffering of men and women okay and he told him that there is not any mystery just like misery because you just fly over my city little swallow and tell me what you see there so these were the instructions or you can say request also given by happy prince to swallow that you roam here and there and you bring all those news to me that which kind of life the people are surviving in his city okay so the swallow started flying over the great city okay so he saw that rich people they were so happy they were enjoying their life in their beautiful houses while beggars they were sitting at their gates swallow went into the dark lanes he saw that the white faces of children who were dying with hunger okay and they were found in black streets it means why white faces were found in black street it means the infrastructure of the city where they were living that was so poor and very beautiful very charming children were living but their condition was so poor they were not having food with them so such kind of things were being seen by him so he said that how hungry we are so uh, there was one of the watchman okay and he was instructing some of the children you must not lie here see the children they were not having house also so they were lying here and there so watchman he was on duty so he gave them instruction that you are not supposed to live here so then he flew back and told the prince what he had seen now prince said that see my whole of the body is covered with gold okay so you just take it off you just take leaf by leaf and give it to the poor because there were so many poor who were not able to afford food who were not able to afford shelter who were uh, lying here and there without food who were so hungry in that chilly weather so whatever the decision taken by uh, happy prince that he was ready to depart with his you can say clothes which were made up of gold leaves 
so he told him that you just uh, take out take off that leaves one by one and hand over to poor people poor children okay so his body was covered with fine gold okay so these instructions were given to take off those leaves so swallow picked up leaf after leaf and now what was the condition of happy prince he was looking now dull and his body became gray because of that weather his body became gray and leaf after leaf of the fine gold he was taking it off and he was giving to poor people and now the faces of children they became rosier rosier means became, they became red why so because of that happiness because they got gold and they could sell that gold in the market and they could with that money they could purchase food so that's why they became happy and they were laughing they were playing in the street and now they were saying we have bread now rosier means became red rosier is rose color pinkish color reddish color because of happiness they became earlier their face became pale because of hunger but when they got gold they thought that now with that gold they would be able to purchase food so that's why their hunger came to an end and now they said we have bread now what is the meaning of this line we have bread now it means they have got food now here what is the meaning of bread bread means food okay now snow came read from there then the snow came and after that snow came the frost okay simran you read simran you read from there then the snow came where has simran gone yes, yes ma'am speak loudly bete yes ma'am okay ma'am then the snow came and after After the snow came, the frost. The streets looked as if they were made of silver. Everybody went about in furs, and the little boys wore scarlet caps and skated on the ice. The poor little swallow grew colder and colder, but he would not leave the prince. He loved him too well. He picked up crumbs outside the baker's door when the baker was not looking. and try to keep himself warm by flapping its wings but at last he knew that he was going to die he had just enough strength to fly up to the prince's shoulder once more goodbye dear prince he murmured will you let me kiss your hand i am glad that you are going to egypt at last little swallow said the prince you have stayed too long here but you must kiss me on the lips for i love you it is not to egypt that i am going said the swallow i am going to the house of death death is the brother of sleep is he not and he kissed the happy prince on the lips and fell down at his feet at that moment a curious crack sounded inside the statue as if something had broken the fact is that the legion heart had snapped right in two it certainly was a dreadfully hard frost early the next morning The mayor was walking in the square below in the company with the town councillors. As they passed the column, he looked up at the statue. "Dear me, how shabby the happy prince looks," he said. "How shabby indeed!" cried the town councillors, who always agreed with the mayor, and they went up to look at it. The ruby has fallen out of his sword. His eyes were gone, and he is golden no longer," said the mayor. in fact he is little better than a beggar little better than a beggar said the town councillors and here is actually a dead bird at his feet continued the mayor we must really issue a proclamation that birds are not to be allowed to die here and the town clerk made a note of the suggestion so they pulled down the statue of the happy prince as he is no longer beautiful he is no longer useful said the art professor at the university then they melted the statue in a furnace where a strange thing said the overseer of the workmen at the foundry this broken lead heart will not melt in the furnace we must throw it away so they threw it in a dust heap where the dead swallow was also lying 
bring me the two most precious things in the city, said God to one of his angels. And the angel brought him the leaden heart and the dead bird. You have rightly chosen, said God, for in my garden of paradise, this little bird shall bring forevermore and in the city of my gold, the happy prince shall praise me. So very touching the ending of this chapter. I'm so moved to read. So what happened? Now, according to the instruction of Happy Prince, he started removing uh, gold leaves and he started giving to poor children. Now, poor children, they became so happy. They, they were just laughing and playing in street and they said now they have got bread. It means they have got food. Okay, finally the snow came and after snow, what was another frost came? It means uh, frost was followed with snow. It means it was so chilly weather. Okay, and now the feet were looking as they were made of silver. Why so? Because these were covered with snow. Okay, and everybody they were wearing furs. In were furs, it means they were wearing woolen clothes, furry clothes. Because it was so chilly season and it was so difficult to survive in such kind of weather. And that's why the little boys, they were wearing scarlet caps. Scarlet is a, you can say red caps. Okay. And they were skating on the ice. And what was the condition of poor little fellow? It was growing colder and colder, but he has made up his mind that he would not leave happy prince. Why so? Because he loved him too much. So what did he do in order to survive? He used to pick up crumbs. Crumbs is, you can say, small, small pieces of food. Crumbs is a small, small pieces of food. And from where did he found that? Outside the baker's shop. When baker was not in the shop, okay, he was not looking outside. So he just tried to keep himself warm by flapping his wings. Okay, but at last, Swallow came to know that now he is not, he was not able to survive in chilly weather. He was about to die and he just gathered up his strength and he flew up to happy shoulder once more and he bade him goodbye. Why goodbye? He murmured. Murmured means he spoke in a very soft voice. He spoke in a very low tone. Will you let me kiss your hand? So he took permission from happy prince that would you allow me to kiss on your hand? So uh, happy prince thought that why he came here to bid me goodbye and why he wanted to kiss me. What was the reason behind that? It means he has made up his mind that he was about to fly to Egypt. Okay. So happy prince was happy to know this thing that he is bidding me goodbye because he was ready to go to Egypt. So... Uh, when he asked that, will you let me kiss your hand? So uh, happy prince said, yes, I'm very happy that finally you are going to Egypt. Okay. So because you have stayed with me for so many long time and you should kiss me on my lips because I love. So after that fellow declared that he was not going to Egypt. That's, this is not the reason that he wanted to kiss him. He wanted to be, bid him goodbye because I am going to house of death. I'm not moving to Egypt because he came to know that his death is very much near because he was not able to survive in such kind of chilly weather. Okay. So he uh, told him that he was going to house of death because death is the brother of sleep. It means he is going to sleep forever. So this word is used that death is the brother of sleep. So finally he kissed happy prince on his lips and at the last moment when he gave him a kiss, he just died and he fell down on the feet of happy prince. So this was the last, you can say, scene when he finally died and he died at the last, that, at the feet of happy prince. So when the death, when this death occurred, in front of happy prince. So do you think that happy prince, prince would be able to survive? He was already dead. But what was that? 
something at that moment something curious something uh, you can say curious very uh, crack sounded inside the statue what was broken inside the statue uh, yes his leaden heart his heart was made up of lead that metal okay and it split into two parts okay and it suddenly was a dreadfully hard frost so it was basically heart of happy prince which broke into two pieces so next day early in the next morning the mayor he was with along with town's councilor he was on round so when they were passing uh, down that they were pa passing uh, near the column they looked at the statue and they said how shabby the happy prince looks now shabby means how dirty because earlier it was made of gold ruby was there precious stones were there eyes were so beautiful but now all of the gold was removed heart was broken into two pieces and it was looking so ugly so shabby so councilor town councilor said yes they were always agreed with the mayor and they when they looked up they when they looked at the statue and they said yes it is indeed looking so ugly why so because they thought that there was a ruby in the sword it is it has fallen somewhere and the eyes which were made up of uh, sapphires they were also gone okay and it is not made up of gold now gold is not there it is so they said it is just like a beggar this statue is looking like of a beggar so town council said no no sir even little better than a beggar so it is looking better than a beggar so there was actually a dead bird at his feet okay so mayor said see one of the bird is dead at his feet okay they said that they should issue a proclamation proclamation means they should make that announcement which kind of announcement that which kind of announcement should they make that birds are not allowed to die here such kind of silly announcement was being made by mayor of the city and town clerk they made a note of this suggestion okay and after that they made up this decision they pulled down the statue of happy prince okay because they thought now this statue is not so beautiful it is not so useful okay so art professor at the university he spoke this dialogue so it should not be kept in the art museum also okay so they melted the statue in furnace furnace is you can say fireplace so they melted it okay so they were so uh, uh, you can say surprised that what a strange thing said the overseer of the workmen at the foundry okay why so because when the broken lead they melted into the furnace they thought that they should throw it away so where did they throw it away they threw it on a dust heap where the dead swallow was also lying because when they melted they thought it is of no use so they threw that melted and where did they throw where the dead body of swallow was lying okay so it means they both were dead now so what was the instruction of god now god gave instruction to his angels that you just bring those precious things of the city to me what were precious things of the city swallow and the happy prince okay so god said yes you have rightly chosen because in my garden of paradise paradise means heaven okay so this little bird it will sing forever okay and in my city of gold the happy prince shall praise me it means both were given the space in paradise in heaven there god uh, there with god who will be living that swallow also and that happy prince also they both will be living there and they would be you can say happy prince shall praise me it means happy prince would give company to god 
in that heaven it means after that they both were given space they both were given a place in heaven so this is a beautiful chapter written by oscar wilde so we will be doing question answers of this chapter tomorrow so you go through all these questions find out these answer you all should be very much inquisitive and eager to tell me the answer okay so time is running out we are going to over it okay and we will discuss all the question answers tomorrow and one thing more i have shared in ninth english group comic strip strip to be made often students have been given guidance they will be making that comic strip they will be making its pdf okay and will be sharing in ninth a english group and you all are supposed to do best will be chosen and their entries will be sent to you okay so i hope my dear students would be able to do if you face any kind of difficulty you can ask me you are supposed to make comic strip you have to show conversation between two person two persons can be your any family member it can be cousin friend uncle aunt father mother anyone okay you have to show you have to converse with them like a comic strip in comics whatever you read like that you have you can take example from there and you have to write down the dialect that one person is suffering with covid and second person how does we we give him encouraging words okay so that comic strip should not be too long it should be of only single page having only five to six dialects okay so bachche you make it today and make it pdf rename your pdf with your name class and roll number and please post it in nine day english group by today positively okay okay students thank you and have a nice day